this is what a lot of people need to be watching out for boy oh boy i just don't understand why it's always me that has to go through like the maddest things hi guys welcome back to my channel so have i got a story time for you lot today do you where do i even start I, not never in a million years did i ever think i was gonna go through this never we might as well just get straight to the point because at this point you guys are probably all gonna be wondering how did you get in that position like how i've got my phone with me because um i've got the letter just to remind me of the dates and things like that so february the 13th 2016 my partner and i decided we just wanted to go out for a quick dinner and then we go back to a hotel just so we can chill bearing in mind i think i was about 37 about 36 37 weeks pregnant at the time i was due um the following month so anyways now we go out get our nice meal to eat my belly's full his belly's full and i'm just like Do you know what i'm i'm so excited to just relax we passed the shops first got our snacks all of our little things that we wanted to you know snack on throughout the time that we was at the hotel so we get to the hotel now and we check in got in our room i'm just like yes we finally made it i'm so excited to relax my pregnancy was so difficult i didn't want to do anything i literally just wanted to chill at that hotel and that is it and then i jump in the shower and then he jumps in the shower and yeah we're literally just chilling we put a movie on and then we obviously had our snacks and we we're just chilling in bed talking watching the movie all of that good stuff so then anyways now we finish watching our movies we finish having our snacks and then he's like oh you know i'm a bit tired i just want to kind of rest and sleep da, da, da. so i'm just like go sleep like it's fine i'm gonna fall asleep in a minute anyways and then he falls asleep first and i started watching something else on the tv so he's sleeping now and i'm just watching whatever i'm watching on tv and then i see this guy bare fidgeting in bed and i'm just like what is wrong with you like why are you just moving around bare so then i'm seeing him itch now and i'm just like I don't know what's wrong with you but at that time i thought that he probably just had like a little allergic reaction to something i don't know i didn't think too much of it so then anyways now so i was like Do you know what i'm getting tired now i'm gonna go to bed as well we didn't think too much about how much he was itching i just thought yeah like we kind of just brushed it off i go to bed now and then i fall asleep in the middle of the night i'm waking up itching bearing in mind i slept on my left side now so i'm waking up in the middle of the night and i'm thinking why am i so itchy like this whole side of my arm was itchy as hell bearing in mind at that time i never knew nothing about bed bugs so that whole time my arms itching his arms itching whatever not for one second did bed bugs well not for one second did bed bugs cross my mind because I've never won, I've never experienced it. I don't know nothing about it. After that, I tried to go back to bed, but throughout the whole night, I was itching, 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 itching. I was literally like, like for the whole night, I was so itchy. So we woke up now in the morning and we was just complaining. We was just like, I don't know why last night we couldn't sleep properly. I was itching, da 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 da. So I was just like, you know what, let's just go out for the day to distract ourselves because we basically had a crap night. Like, none of us slept properly. Let's go out for the day. It's Valentine's Day anyways. I didn't want to go out. I just kind of wanted to chill. But because I had such a crap night, I was like, let's go out and distract ourselves. So as we was leaving now, I asked the receptionist if we can get our bed sheets changed and just the room tidied up a little bit. So we go out now, we have a good day. I can't even remember what we did on the day. So we come back and then we have our shower as usual and then jump in bed again and just chill, talk, whatever. We go back to bed. Bro, I'm itching again. I don't understand why 
I was itching that much. I'm just like, at this point, I don't know what is up. By the way, I'm gonna be inserting pictures randomly to show you my arm. Second night in a row, we didn't sleep well. In the morning when I woke up, had my shower, whatever, and then I'm sitting there looking at my arm and I'm just like, why is my arm red? I just don't get it. What is the reason? As we're checking out, I told the receptionist, I'm just like, oh, um, bear in mind, I don't think this was like an experienced receptionist. I think this was one that just kind of got the job. So then we tell the receptionist, we're just like, we've been itching all night. Da, da, da. Obviously they can see that I'm pregnant. I was like, I didn't get my good night's sleep. I was pissed off. Da, 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 da. Do you know what this receptionist turned around and said to me? They were like, oh, on the, um, I can't remember if they said it was that specific room. I just remember that receptionist saying to me, on the 4th of February, they had an incident of bed bugs. So I was thinking, what are bed bugs? I don't know what the hell they are, but whatever they are, I'm following up on this. So once I made that complaint, um, the receptionist told me whatever they told me. We went back in the car, and then before we even left, I started doing my research on bed bugs, and I saw that they could spread easily, and I was like, oh hell no! Nah. Everything at home in my room is fresh. Fresh mattress, fresh bed, fresh this, fresh that. I'm not about to go home in these same clothes for these bed bugs to enter the house. Hell no. So when we was in the car, I done my research. I called the hotel customer service just to make a formal report because I was thinking, I don't feel like these people in the hotel are gonna follow it up. So when I made the formal report, they contacted the hotel and obviously locked off that whole room. This is what they informed me. They informed me that they locked off that whole room. They're gonna do an investigation. Um, they're gonna get people to come in to do an inspection to see if there's actually bed bugs in that room. So I'm thinking, wait, I'm pregnant in a hotel. By the way, this is not no small hotel. This is a very well known hotel. I'm not gonna mention their name once again, but this is a very well known hotel. So for me to be in that hotel room, pregnant and I get bitten by bed bugs, you must be mad. You must have lost your mind to think that I'm not gonna follow up on this because that is a joke. That is an absolute liberty. So anyways now, my partner, he, do you know what it is? He complains, but he's, he, I would say he's a bit laid back. He's not really big on the complaints. I'm not that big on the complaints, but because I was pregnant, I was playing no games. So I contacted a solicitor and then I was I had to explain the situation to him. And then when I explained the situation to him, I told him that I was pregnant. I told him that this has caused me a lot of trauma, a lot of distress because I'm pregnant. I don't know what's happening. I'm really paranoid. The solicitor was just like, oh, um, I don't really know if he can sue the hotel or whatever. I don't know if you can really make a claim because you're not about, you're not going to get that much. I was like, excuse me. I was like, first of all. I was thinking to myself, hold on, I got bitten at a hotel that is not small and you're telling me I can't make a claim and I'm pregnant. I'll be my own solicitor. How about that? <laughs> so anyways now, I started writing up some mad letter. Like I was pissed because once you see these pictures, just look at the pictures and you're going to see like I was itching throughout the whole night. I was paranoid. I was never settled. And at that point, I didn't know how it was going to affect my pregnancy. My partner, he was going through the same thing, but he wasn't as fussed as I was. I was like, I'm not letting this go. If you don't want to deal with it, then boy, that's on you. But I'm about to deal with this stuff. So I wrote some big ass letter. I sent it off to customer service and someone at customer service informed me that I could also contact the insurance group. I don't know how I managed to get in contact with the insurance group because I don't think it's that easy to get in contact with hotels insurance groups. So I wrote some big ass letter, sent some pictures off to the insurance group and then they started doing their investigation and then the results came back that they did in fact have bed bugs in that hotel room. <laughs> I wanted to lose my mind. We ended up coming to an agreement on a settlement, but I'm not going to lie to you. I would have rather not have gone through that and not had the settlement than go through that and have the settlement. 
I'm going to put a link down below on how you can keep an eye out on things like bed bugs and things like that because it's nothing that anybody wants to go through. If you can prevent it and you can make it like a regular thing to always check your hotel room before you stay in it, there's no harm in that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.